My name is Dr. Sandy Knapp and I'm a botanist here at the Natural History Museum. Our rich collections have been assembled over many, many years by lots and lots of different sorts of people. Not only the people that you think of when you come to the Natural History Museum are those who have contributed to our collections. Many people whose names aren't even recorded have contributed and done things to make these collections what they are. The Natural History Museum is working with communities and historians to investigate the cultural and historical value of our collections. So for example, during the Slavery and the Natural World project, we consulted with a wide range of people to help us decide what to research in our library collections. European collectors at the time of the expansion of empires and the transatlantic traffic of enslaved Africans relied on indigenous or enslaved people to help them gather specimens. These collections have and still do make huge contributions to the development of science. The contributions of indigenous people or enslaved Africans go unrecorded and undervalued. Today, naturalists in the field record a lot more information on the specimens that they collect than was recorded in the past. For example, on a specimen collected in, in the year 2001, we record things like the latitude and longitude, the elevation, the exact area, where the plant was found, some of the uses about it. All the people who were involved in its collection are also recorded on the label. The museum is indebted not only to many scientists for studying its collections, but also to the many, many people, both known and unknown, who've contributed to these collections and made them as rich, varied, and diverse as they are.